Take. Hello again, and welcome to part three of Intonation and the Floyd Rose Tremolo. It's been two months since the uh, part two. Had a lot happened since then. Computer died on me. Lost my job. You know, all the typical fun stuff that could happen did. But here I am. I'm finally completing part three. So uh, let's just get right into it. I've got the guitar set up for uh, 440 pitch. We've got the Floyd Rose intonation set at 440. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, so we'll uh, take a little break. I'll get this set up for a 435 pitch tuning, and uh, we're going to leave the intonation set at uh, 440, but uh, obviously we're going to tune the strings down. Uh, and then we'll see what that sounds like, and that's probably where I'm going to leave it, uh, but I'll get back to you here in a couple minutes as soon as I get it. Uh... Okay, so back again and uh, got the strings tuned down to uh, 435 pitch uh, we left the intonation set at 440 so we did not adjust the saddles at all uh, we'll just see what this sounds like and uh, eh, might sound pretty decent let's find out <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so there you go. Intonation and the Floyd Rose Tremolo. Uh, so just to sum it up, uh, floating Floyd Rose style tremolo could be one of your best tools to uh, mess around with, just play, uh, get some extra notes in there that you normally wouldn't get without one. However, <laughs> as you can see, uh, they are a pain to set the intonation and uh, also to even set the tuning can be a huge pain. Uh, so again, the uh, trim no trim unit is shown in uh, part two installed. Uh, might be something to consider if you want to uh, have a floating tremolo system. Uh, well, don't know what else to tell you on that one. Uh, wish you the best of luck. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. And uh, we'll see you around on the next video. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.